Um, I guess uh, one of the first things is how the workflow is actually structured. Because at first I was aware of the concept art, which the concept stage, which was the illustration, the sketching, the getting the visual idea down on paper for everybody else to see, as well as just getting an overall idea of what it is that they want to produce. But it was the next stages that I was always fuzzy over. I wasn't quite sure where it went after that. So it's the uh, modelling, how modelling is done. It was the fact that with modelling there were so many more components than I ever thought was possible. It was the, the texturing, it was the, the amount of different levels of texturing you can do for it. It was then the rigging, um, what has to go into actually animating it. Um, I already knew it was a complex, complex thing because I'd watched quite a lot of um, how to or how films were made with certain animations and was always just sort of completely everything went over the top of my head when you'd see the videos and you'd just see this face moving on a screen. But actually now being able to understand the mechanics, that's been quite a treat and it's been something I've been wanting to know for a very long time. Um, yep, a favourite part of the course so far uh, has to be the game jam. Because um, studying is fine, but just the actual experience of being able to make a game, um, actually being able to get thrown in the deep end with, with people who have the same drive and passion and determination to produce something and actually experience coming together and putting all that you've learned. Because doing the assignments, doing the portfolio work is all good, but actually being tested on it in such a way that you would have to do the same in business is quite an exciting thing. Um, and it just really gives you a taste of what you're going to have to expect when you do go into the business. And it just gets you prepared and it gets you thinking and really exploring and just the experience just helps you a lot. As well as connecting with other people, um, that's just been amazing. It's an online course, so you've just got to be prepared for the fact that you do have to put a lot of the time in, your, time in yourself. You've got to really structure, you've really got to have dedication and responsibility to get your work done. Uh, everybody will be so used to the classroom, they'll be so used to their teachers calling them back, they'll be so used to having their parents hassle them and just having a strict schedule already given to them. With something like this you have to do it yourself and you've just got to be you just got to be prepared that that's something you've got to do for yourself and not expect someone else to do for you.